Well, now it's time to, to think about what you'll serve for dessert when you're having people over and grilling. Chef Ryan Nolan is here on his last day of vacation. Nice of you to stop by. Oh, you bet. No problem. So you're making one that's red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. It's a, it's a rice pudding um, called Kier. Okay. Um, is it an Indian dessert? It is. It is. Uh, I'm from the City Center Hotel in Oshkosh, and uh, we do a little bit of Indian flair on our menu. Um, uh, so... It's a great, simple example of uh, a sweet Indian treat. Uh, and being the melting pot of America, I thought, what a better way to add it to a th uh, Fourth of July picnic. Yeah, it's perfect. Yep. And, and using fresh berries in there. Yeah, we're going to garnish it with some fresh berries. You know, typically, I think it's more done with golden raisins and, and some I like, almonds. I like but your I version. like it with fresh berries. I love in Indian it. food. And the desserts are always usually very, very sweet. Yes, Adding the fresh sweet. berries kind of makes it a little bit well, easier. Well, because, it might, you know, the blueberries might be a little bit more tart. They're mm -hmm. going to mellow out that sugar. Uh, and the strawberries are just fantastic. I love strawberries. All right, so. so you said it's super easy to make. Stupid easy. <laughs> so anyways, I wasn't going to use that term, but. Uh, I will. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I'll go with that. All right. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, we've got a pot here. We've got about a quart of whole milk. Okay. Uh, I prefer to use whole milk. It's got a more richness to it, obviously, but if, if you, know, you wanted to, you could use uh, skim or 2%, but okay. it's a dessert. Come on. All right. Plus, we're adding a whole can of uh, uh, sweetened condensed milk. You so. might as well just go home. <laughs> you know, yeah, exactly. You might as well so go home. So how much whole milk did you have in there? There's a quart. Okay. Whole milk, and then we've got the one can of sweetened condensed milk, which is pretty sticky stuff. So try not to get it uh, all over your kitchen. Okay. And then we're gonna whisk that together, and we've got this just slightly warmed yet. We didn't bring it to a boil or anything because we're gonna add. If you want to grab, uh, we've got a cup of white rice there. Okay. And what kind of rice do you like to use? For uh, this? I typically like to you use. Uh, to yep. Go ahead. This? I like to use basmati. Uh, mm, you know, I it's a it's a very rice. good Indian rice, and I, I tried making this batch last night with with regular white rice. I had never done it before. Just to test it out. Just to test it out, and actually, uh, uh, I didn't get enough quite enough starch out of the rice, so mm, it's wow. uh, you know it's a little bit underdone. So even I screw up sometimes. <laughs> I don't like to admit it. You can ask my wife. You well, know, you but, just did on live TV, well, but that's okay. I mean, that's how you TV. learn, okay. right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I learned that I prefer basmati in my cure. Okay. So if you can get it, you know, get the basmati rice. It's a little more expensive than the white rice, but if you have to use white rice, make sure it's a parboiled. Oil, so it, 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 it cooks all the way through because okay. what we want to do is you know bring this slowly up to heat with the milk and the uh, uh, sweetened condensed milk and some sugar to pull that starch out and that's what's going to act as our thickener and a lot of puddings uh, okay. or custards you use an egg yolks as your thickener but we want to just abuse the uh, rice to pull all its starch out to kind of thicken our pudding so it, it's okay. it's kind of nicer because it is somewhat healthier because you don't have egg yolks in it so sure but other than the, the sweet condensed milk then you're going to add sugar in yeah, there too yeah. so yeah mm -hmm. well you know so it's not, uh, somewhat sort of Help? somewhat well, and he's you putting fresh fruit in there eventually so. yeah well it's got fresh fruit you and we tell didn't yourself put any what you want to tell exactly. yourself exactly right? So we would be stirring this, and we're going to keep it on a medium heat. We want to slowly bring it up and then to a nice simmer, okay. but constantly stirring, constantly stirring, because that rice will settle back down to the bottom of the pan and burn, especially with the amount of sugar that we have in here. Okay. And I did a batch of that uh, on Tuesday and, and burnt it really well, too. Uh, so so don't do that. Yeah, there was some choice words involved. So what are you putting in here, vanilla and Yep, we got some cinnamon? pure vanilla extract and a little bit of cinnamon. Now, if you wanted to, if you had some cinnamon sticks, instead of putting the whole cin or the ground cinnamon, in there, just uh, drop a cinnamon stick in there and let that just kind of hang out as you're doing nice it. Nice and mellow that way. Yep, one, right? and, and then you won't add any of this uh, coloration to it, so it'll stay even whiter. But I'll show you here, this is kind of what it looks like when we're all said and done. You know, it's, it's gotten a lot it's a thicker. Pudding. It's a rice pudding. And, uh, you know, if you're getting it and, and it seems like that instance like I had where your rice isn't cooked all the way, and, and it's getting too thick, just go ahead and add some more whole milk to it. Do you serve uh, it warm or cold? You can do it either way. I like okay. to serve it cold. Okay. Um, and he has the final um, product right here where you put the chopped up strawberries and blueberries in there. Yep, right in, mixed it in together, and then put it into the bowl and then garnish with some more. You could throw a little fresh mint on there. And like I said, if you didn't want to do the berries, you know, golden raisins and, and some toasted almonds are fantastic on that. Or mango, like we used before. Oh, excellent. And you're down at the City Center? City Center Hotel, right downtown Oshkosh. Uh, if you can deal with the construction, come on into Oshkosh. You know, it's construction city right now, but uh, uh, still plenty of ways to get around town. We can deal with it for oh, you. Yeah. Chef Ryan Nolan, thank you so much. He's sharing the recipes with us. You can find them online, fox11online.com. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.